with all of us here. So again, big round of applause and then get ready for our march. Thank you, everyone.
association in that building, and we force, yes, we force the owners of 22 John to bring those rent increases down from 22 to 5% for everyone in the building. My friends, we did that. We did that even when all the cards were stacked against us. All of them. And we did it with tenant. 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 One more example of tenant power, and that comes from 33 King Street. Give it up for 33 King Street. The brave and fearless leaders of one of the largest, if not the largest, rent strikes in the city of Toronto's history. Give it up one more time for 33 King Street. King Street has a long history of saying, uh-uh, we're not going to take this. So when they had another above guideline rent increase, just like here at 1440 and 1442 Lawrence, what are these AGIs, above guideline increases? That's right, they're a bunch of, they're a bunch of BS. It's a total BS. Yes. It's just the way landlords get to go around rent control. That's all it is. That's all it is. So when they had their last AGI in 2018, they organized together, they worked together, they did a series of actions that brought the landlord to the negotiating table. Yes, in 2022, Dream Unlimited was forced to come to the negotiating table and those above guideline and rent increases got reduced by half. We won a reduction by half. That means we saved each other and our neighbors in 33 King Street a total of $1.5 million. And we didn't do that because they changed the law all of a sudden. We didn't do that because Doug Ford realized he was just scamming tenants out of their homes. We didn't realize because, we didn't do that because Dream suddenly grew a conscience. No, we did that because of tenant. Tenant is just the beginning. There are so many examples of victories like that that we win. We win when we stick together. And there will be many, many more because as we are coming up to one year of this red strike, you better believe we are not backing down until we win! Yeah. So keep that applause going for one of our fearless leaders of the 1440 and 1442 Lawrence Avenue West Red Strikes, Rashid Rambada! Doing 
marching at 33 King uh, for what they wanted. And give it up to our friend and co-chair of the York Southwest Tennis Union, Charlie Edwards. It might be because of our crappy windows at 33 King Street that they installed six months ago. So thank you everyone for coming out. We're all here to fight for fair rent, affordable housing, and we all here know that housing is a human right. It's unfortunate that our government doesn't understand that housing is a human right. We've been watching the news all weekend in my house, and all I keep seeing things is about affordable housing, rent evictions, rent control. So many things are happening around us, but we need to stand up and fight back, and that's what the York Southwest Heading Union is doing. We're standing up and we're fighting back. It hasn't been easy, but we've maintained a strong rent strike where about 150 to 160 families have held back their rent from Dream Unlimited, who by the way makes 50% profit on residential. I'm not sure anybody here knows any business that makes 50% profit just like that. You have to work really hard to make 5% profit and 10% profit. It's very shameful that Dream doesn't want to step up and negotiate with 33 King Street tenants and 22 John Street tenants to have a fair deal bring back rent control, and take away all these above guideline increases. I stand here in solidarity with my brothers and sisters from 1440 and 1442 Lawrence Avenue West, and we will always fight until the end of it. Thank you. Give it up for Charlene, for the Almost a year on rent strike, imagine that, but people are fighting back and we're fighting back not just in this community, we're fighting back all across the city. We have here today many other tenant organizations that have been supportive of us. We have labor organizations, we have community organizations from across the city that have come out repeatedly to support the struggles that we're carrying in this community. And this is why we say we're not just fighting for us, we're fighting for everybody in this city and in this province. So let me let me get let me let me call out some of our friends that are gonna come and, and say a few words. So first we're gonna start with Annie from Climate Justice Toronto. So if many of you don't know, a lot of the folks that have been canvassing day in and day out in our community are from Climate Justice Toronto. It's an amazing organization that has been pulling their way behind the red strikes and we wanna give them a, a speech to speak. So Annie take it away, give it up. after week for the last year from Climate Justice Toronto because you know for us we know that if we want to fight the climate crisis we need to stand together as workers as tenants otherwise landlords are going to keep putting the costs of heating of smoke of maintenance on us and that's why we've been here since last May since the rent strike started in, in uh, 33 King and 22 John and since June in 1440 Lawrence and defending tenants at eviction and we will continue to be here because we know that unless we stand together and fight together, we're... Yeah. Sorry, if that's the only way that we're going to fight the climate crisis. Yeah. Thank you, Arnie Good. Give it up again for him for the We have other tenants who are fighting because they also are not are in buildings that are not rent controlled. These are buildings that were built after 2018 and that for took away rent control from them. Shame, Shame on them! Shame on that! So I want to invite Cindy from the Livermore Tenants down in High Park that has always been, been up and supporting us to say a few words as well about the fight that they're, they're carrying down there. Give it up for her! Hello, my name is Cynthia from the Livermore High Park Tenants Association and I have to say our association has been greatly inspired by everything that the YSWA is doing. We stand in absolute solidarity with you. In our non-rent control buildings, we have two non-rent 
non-rent control buildings to rent control buildings. Our non-rent control buildings, get this, have six times higher vacancy in those buildings than the average for all of Toronto. That means perfectly good housing is sitting vacant in the middle of a housing crisis. So we're fighting for fair rent control for everyone. And we're also fighting against AGIs in our two rent control buildings. So does that sound familiar to any of you? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we have to say a big thank you for everything every one of you has been doing, has been keeping our blood pumping, been keeping us angry, and keeping us fighting because it's happening here, it's happening everywhere, and it needs to freaking stop. Thank you, Tenet! Thank you, Cynthia, thank you. And we are gonna be down in High Park whenever you need us. We're gonna be there fighting with you as well. Now, there's another group of folks that have been fighting. Well, you may have heard about demo evictions. This is when all buildings are slated to be demolished, to build luxury condos that nobody can afford. Yeah. Say on that. Yeah. And these folks are all across the city organizing buildings that are slated for demolition to fight back, to get tenant rights, to defend real affordable housing, not those formulas that the governments are throwing around. So I want to give it up for Jeff from No Demolition Toronto and to uh, Anet as well, who's going to just share some words. Give it up. Thank you. It's great to see everybody here. You know, I've been organizing in the tennis space for a while now. And over the past few years, it's uh, started to look a lot different. People are starting to come, come together in a way that they never did before. And it's so encouraging to see you all here. It's encouraging to see the climate folks here. It's encouraging to see labor unions here. Because everyone's right, you can't do it alone. You have to team up, we have to do it together. Every part helps. In no demolition, we fight. We fight against demolitions of perfectly good, affordable rental buildings, replaced by affordable condos and market rate apartments that nobody can afford. Everyone's always asking, why are they keeping very, very easy. It's because those tenants keep fighting them on AGIs. It's because they do have rent control. It's because they are keeping their rent at a pace that they can pay, and it's just not enough for the developers. It's never enough. Our housing system is based on greed, it's based on profit based on maximizing what they can get at our expense and that's why we come together and fight the way we do because we know that it's for the betterment of everybody not just ourselves for everybody part of the system that makes gun evictions possible makes AGIs almost necessary for the landlords they need to increase their profits somehow they have to and so they rake the system the landlord tenant board is what it is. The full weight of our government wants to help the landlord. So what do we do? We help each other. And we come together, we fight for every one of our, our members. So I want to introduce you right now to Annette. She has been living at 25 St. Mary that has had Endless AGIs is always fighting, and now they're getting them evicted, and they're trying to give them AGIs even as they're being evicted. Unconscionable greed. Give it up for Annette from 25 to Annette.
Tenant Union. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting so many of you in December when you were occupying the office right over here to make sure that a tenant returned to our home. And when I was there that day, I was truly inspired by the community, the solidarity, and the organizing I saw on display that day. Uh, and I think you're really at the forefront of something. There's a spirit in this part of the city that I hope spreads all across the city and all across this country until there isn't a tenant without a union to be found. As long as there has been a colonial government in this country, there has been tenants fighting for a quality, dignified life. And I say that, I say that not to discourage you. We've been fighting a long time. I say that to remind you that we stand at the forefront of a long legacy of righteous struggle. When your landlord tells you that it's normal to have holes in your roof, that it's normal to have mold and bugs, that it is normal to have leaks and creaky floors. Tell them that's a lie. It was a lie 200 years ago, it was a lie 100 years ago, and it's a lie today. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you all to give it up for Alex again. Yeah. The movement is spreading all over the city. We have a very recently formed tenant union in Toronto Center, so give it up for me from the Toronto Center Tenant Union, who's here too. Hello everyone, my name is Mai, I use she and her pronouns, and I want to be the embodiment of everything that every single one of you have been working on. We represent the Toronto Center Tenant Union, a very newly formed tenant union, so inspired by the work that every single one of you have been doing here today. And I want to remind you that your efforts are spreading. We are fighting with you, we are fighting for you, and we are here today to win. Thank you. Give it up for me. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, folks, for coming all the way from Toronto Center as well. I want to give the last one on the tenant groups, one that we all know. We've all been as well in their rallies, in their fights, always sporting the red. So we want to give it up for Akon as well, who is here. Ricky, take it away. I got it. 
Hi everybody, holy cow, look at all the representation over here. No, sir. Climate Justice Toronto. Um, who's that? Oakville? What did you want to, everybody hold your, your things up. That's great. Oakville. Bar. I was hanging out with one of your sisters with the Samba Squad today. Uh, this is great. So we're at, in unprecedented times right now. It hasn't always been like this. Um, I, my father immigrated here from Portugal. And um, he was the only, so he's, he went to work over here in Canada. He, he got himself a, a home, raised three kids. Uh, my brother and sister wound up uh, uh, moving out, getting ourselves an apartment, and uh, going to school, raising our own families as well. You can't do that anymore. When did it start? Maybe in the 80s? I don't know, but it snuck, it snuck up on us. Yeah, so this is unprecedented, and it doesn't have to be that way. How do we push back? Well, first of all, all this representation that we have here, with all the, the tenants' unions and the labor unions and climate justice for Toronto, I used to be part of Greenpeace, by the way, and we, we work together. We don't, shouldn't have to do this, but this is the situation that we're in right now, and uh, that's how we push back. Imagine, imagine, uh, right across the city, all of us holding hands, all the tenant unions, all the labor unions, all everybody who's, uh, who's peripherally involved, holding hands right across the city, what will they do next? This is what we can do. Anyway, uh, to be really brief, because I can't wait to, uh, to get marching, it's a beautiful day for a march, isn't it? So we sat with the mayor twice uh, within the last year, and we've been seeing, as ACORN, uh, in solidarity with the amazing uh, York, York Southwest and Tenant Union. Um, we've uh, been talking to a bunch of councillors as well, but we also uh, work in, on a provincial level. And some of the things that we've been, we've been pushing for, and we have some councillors on our side, including that troublemaker, Olivia Chow. She's amazing. She's on our side. Um, we want full rent control, increased funding to non-market housing, LTB reform to stop discrimination against tenants and to make AGIs illegal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so without further ado, here's a tenant and a, a fellow uh, sister member of ACORN that would like to say a couple of things. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my no, name is Patricia Hankovic. Shasa, I represent UAE ECO in my name to Paradel. Thank you, Chiara and Bruno from uh, uh, your Southwestern and putting this mark together. I got the uh, ECO from 2004 and become member. ECO, we have tenants in Hamilton, London, Ottawa, Peterborough, Peel, Brampton, and Waterloo is fighting with us to get province stopped in HEA. And then I make I call myself for international from my neighborhood radio, speak Spanish, Argentina, and introduce um, Alejandra. And then uh, ACOR has made big difference in the neighborhood. And ACOR we tell to the tenant the rights and landlord doing the job, the job. And uh, make difference. We need many, many, many people around. Today we are the fight and the a ban to HEA. We will put pressure to the promise of Centerio and stop it together we win. We will give to the newcomer information and no people have status, please. Thank you everybody and any member and association, the police. Thank you Patricia, thank you Ricky, thank you for Akon. We just wanted to give a bit of space for our labor allies that have been here today. They've been behind us as well in all of our fights. We have Jack Copper from Toronto and your Greenfield Labor Council to give us a few words of solidarity. Give it up for Jack. Hello, everyone. My name is Jack Koppel. I'm from the Toronto and York Region Labor Council. And I want to tell you that labor in this city 
stands unabashedly, unashamedly, and unreservedly in solidarity with York Southwest and Tenants Union and all tenant union fighting for working people across Toronto. <laughs> working people in this city and across this country are facing a crisis. It's a crisis that is a cost of living crisis that every single day creates poverty and immiserates people uh, uh, be, by raising the prices on food, the prices on fuel, and the prices on rent. Let me ask you, what's being done about this right now? Did the government do anything to step in? No. No. no! What about Galen Weston, the CEOs of the big uh, Loblaws no. and the grocery corporations? Are they lowering prices right now? No! And let me ask you this. Barney River, Dream, they're lowering prices, right? The rent is coming down or no? No! So what's going on? Working people are standing up. They're saying enough is enough. They're standing up and in 2023, we saw the largest activity, strike activity in Canada that has been seen since 1986. <laughs> My friends, Statistics Canada might not count it, but I want to say that I do. You are part of that struggle and your strike is among that record because working people are not taking it anymore. Yeah. So where do we go from here? What do we do? Well, I want to tell you that I have a personal connection to this union as well. I am a member, my home union is uh, Unite Here, Local 75. It represents hospitality and hotel workers in the city. And I come out of a hotel called the Gladstone where I was a shop steward. The Gladstone Hotel is owned by Dream. Hilton hotels in this city are owned by Barney River. And let me tell you, they're bad landlords, they're bad employers. Yeah. Dream is an employer who regularly would pay late, yeah. who regularly would breach health and safety rules, yeah. would break the contract. Yeah. Dream is an employer who, in our union, which represents 8,000 members across the city, just at the Gladstone, 60 members, we had more breaches of contract than every single other property in Toronto combined. Yeah. This is an employer, these are landlords that we need to fight against, and I stand with you. Thank you for having me. Solidarity, everyone, solidarity. Give it up for Jack, thank you to the Toronto and York Region Labour Council for supporting. Our last speaker right now, Council of SEIU, the healthcare union that has also been out. They've been canvassing our neighborhood for healthcare for all. Against the privatization of healthcare, we want to support their fight. They're here to support our fight. So please give it up to Bonifia from SEIU. When we fight, we win. When we fight, we win. Shame. We, we have to be out here fighting for human rights. Rent is human right. Healthcare is human right. And unfortunately, our government today is of care less about the lower class. It's all for profit. And that's why I'm here today to join force with our brothers and sisters to stand up, step up, speak out, stand firm for what you believe in. Stand firm for what you know you right. It's human right to have proper place to live and proper health care in this country. Yes. So, I am here today to talk a little bit about privatization. Privatization is like today now when we go to the doctor, we're gonna have to bring our credit card instead of our health card. This is not a damn shame. So, we need to stop up, step up, lobby the government, join in some solidarity, and fight for health care. I know there are so many people, health care workers, that now can't even afford to pay their rent because we're underpaid and we're overworked. And I know sometimes people might say, okay, privatization is okay. But think about this. I work in a, in a uh, retirement home where that is privatization. Members there have to pay lots of money to live there. But are they getting a better care? No, they're not. No. They're getting the same care that you would get if you're in a long-term care. So that's why we have to join forces, okay? And that's what privatization will look like. 
And if we think we're having issues you now with rent, think about if Dogsworth should be back in power. So we need to stand up, step up, stand in solidarity. I am here today to ask you to sign and join our, our, um, our action in fighting against privatization for health care. If you guys want to see me, you can stand here with the barcode and you sign up. And again, I'm here with you guys. We're standing together. And when we fight, we you win. get power! Yeah. It's between us. But when we're together, he won't win. So we're going to step up, step out, speak out, and get what we deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Solidarity! Solidarity! Right. We're going to sing this song, I don't know who knows it. Solidarity for us!
my main hotel was the Gladstone House Bar, but I did Banquet Bar, very, very occasionally at Sheridan Center. So downtown, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. Get money back. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice property. I was uh, a carry car down on the call list, though, so I only worked there super irregularly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So most of the time I was at the ball, so yeah, but I was like, yeah. All right, well, and I was the show was good. Kept me busy, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,